What is going on guys, Greggles TV. If you have the Samsung One UI update for your Galaxy phone, I'm gonna show you a few ways that you can get better battery life without having to turn off high performance. Okay guys, so this is gonna be the same for whatever phone that you're on that's running Samsung One UI. So what you wanna do is swipe down from the top and then go into settings. Once you're in settings, what you wanna do, do is go down until you see device care, tap on that. And then in the bottom left here, you wanna click battery. And then in the top right, you're gonna click those three dots and you're gonna go into settings. This stuff is gonna take no time at all to, and it might already be turned on for you, but basically everything that you wanna do in order to keep on high performance mode and potentially get better battery life is all within here. So when you have notifications here, it's saying get notified about apps using power in the background. I think it's good to keep that turned on. Um, it's just gonna allow you to say, you know, this app is using battery and maybe you don't want to do that. That's gonna give you the notification to do that. The other thing is in here is adaptive battery and this is new uh, to Android Pie and it says limit battery usage for apps that you don't use often. Your phone will learn how you use apps over time. So if you have that turned on, it's gonna limit battery usage for apps that maybe you don't use that regularly. So again, I would keep that on for sure. Next up would be put unused apps to sleep. If you have that turned on, it's gonna put apps to sleep when they haven't been used for a while. And there's another setting in here that's kind of similar to this. So if you have that turned on, Again, it's just gonna put apps to sleep that you don't really use. And you probably, like me, I have tons of apps that I use uh, and tons of apps that I don't use overall. So to have that turned on is better for me in the long run. Next up is sleeping apps, which if you go in here, it's gonna allow these apps to never be able to run in the background. These apps may not receive updates or send notifications. So if you go in here, these are the apps that I have in here um, that will be not running in the background and again they might not receive updates or send notifications I know my daily mail app I still get notifications and things like that but if you want to add an app here just hit add and then choose the app you want and then hit add again and that's really it if there's an app in here you want to delete hit the trash barrel on the top right and then tap on the app maybe it's this one and then hit remove and it's that easy Back in here, auto disable unused apps. This is new for the Android Pie update. And this allows you to disable apps that haven't been used in over 30 days. So if you have that turned on, it's gonna auto disable any app that you haven't used in over 30 days. So maybe like um, there's a game or some other thing that you don't play and it's been over 30 days, it's gonna auto disable that app so that it doesn't use any of your battery life running in the background or anything like that. And you can check which apps you have. So disabled apps. I don't have any in here because what so what happens is if you turn off auto disabled apps it actually removes all the apps from disabled apps i didn't realize that and they had some apps in here and now they're gone but after 30 days uh, you'll have those apps back in there and then other than that it's pretty much the other only one is optimized settings which is going to save battery by optimizing your settings when you're not using your phone you click on that it auto adjusts your settings to save battery meaning that the settings below will be applied at midnight if you're not using your phone, you can turn off any settings that you don't want to change. So for instance, at midnight, brightness will go down to 49%, screen time out 30 seconds, media volume 46%, and you can tap on this and you can change those settings the way you see fit if you want it to be you know, higher or lower, but it's just another way to optimize your settings and kind of have your phone control your battery life smartly rather than you have to always go in, in there and you know, mess with the settings. A lot of this stuff is automatic stuff and I love it and it's just making the phone smarter and the software smarter so that you can get a better performing phone but again still keep on that high performance mode as you can see when I go into power mode. I keep mine on high performance which gives me maximum screen brightness when I need it and resolution and, but it does use more battery and you can choose one of these other ones if battery is more important to you than actual performance of the phone but I figure if you're going to spend you know over a thousand dollars for a beautiful high performing phone like this, why not go all out? But then, you know, if you wanna control some of the battery settings, go into this these settings right here and do it from there rather than sacrificing the screen or anything else about the phone. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will see you down the road. Peace.